Hey guys, it's Heather from Calga Plan, and today I am making a um, random holiday page, I guess you could call it. So, in a couple of sticker books, like this one, for example, we have pages of random holidays. So, this book has it, um, the Joann's Mega Pack book has it, and there's probably some other pages too, but I didn't have time to look through all my sticker books. Plus that's just a lot of sticker books. <laughs> so I'm going to make a celebration page. I thought it would be cute to start with a quote sticker that is in this mega pack, this mega Joann's pack. Let me find it. So it would be fun to kind of start with this one. It says, Merry Everything and a Happy Always. Um, and maybe we could put, I wonder if I have any more floral stickers. Yes, I do have some. So I was thinking maybe we could layer just a few floral stickers. around and that one's a little bit big nothing too big because I don't like there's a lot of holidays that we're about to go through but then I thought it would be fun to move this each month in my planner so that I always know when the silly holidays are so we're gonna put this here marry everything and a happy always. Sorry, I'm trying to find my scissors. And then I think, or I wonder if there are numbers. Nope, there's only letters. I was gonna say it would be cute to spell out 2019 in those, but there's not. I'm trying to think, what other book does the Christmas book have gold, or is it just letters? It's just letters there too. Um, those are silver. Okay, I'm sure that I could look, honestly, probably in this dates and holiday book, there's probably a 2019 sticker. Um, but I wish that they, I wish that they were bigger. Okay, it's okay. So we are going to start, what I did was I wrote down all of the different holidays and then I Googled when they all were and then I color coded them based on the year so that I could put them in order on my page. So I know that's kind of crazy, but you guys will then be able to just use this page and you'll know when they all are. So the first one we're gonna do is sticker day. So I think that what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to take box stickers from colorful boxes and I'm gonna layer them Kind of like so. And we're going to put it like that. So that's the first January one. Our second one is a popcorn day. This one is a little bit harder 
because it's written in yellow. So to put yellow on top of gold is kind of tricky, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna place it like that, okay? Then our third one is Hug Day, which we have a Hug Day sticker here. Some of these are on both pages. So, Hug Day. Maybe we can layer kind of like that. And then our 4th January. Okay, I need to mark some of these out. So we have January, January, January. Our fourth one is handwriting day. So here, we're going to put it like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black marker and I'm going to fill in when these are. So sticker day is January 13th. Popcorn day is January 19th. Hug day is January 21st and handwriting day is January 23rd. So I'm going to keep doing that, but since we're doing the whole year, it's kind of a lot. So I'm going to fast forward through it. And then at the end, I'll kind of walk you through what all the holidays are. Okay. Okay, so even with my list, I missed some, and some of these are duplicated, but like, I forgot to do Love Your Pet Day, and just some of them wouldn't fit. I could go, could have gone on to the back, but I kind of liked it just being a one-pager. So, here it is. It's kind of just an all-over-the-place page. It's There's not really like a cohesive look to it, but it's really cute. I'm going to pop it in my planner just to keep track of these days. So... If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.